I think most elected officials don't have any idea about consensus building processes. As I said, some of them are just kind of naturals at it. It's the way that they do things. But, but most legislators really don't, and elected officials for that, for that uh, part. But, um, but um, we do, I think, want to see uh, success uh, for the community. I do think most elected officials really do. And, um, and I think most um, elected officials really um, also would want to see the community come together over something, particularly something that's been divisive in the community. And I think offering the, a, a, a university forum, whether you call it a neutral or someone that's impartial or a center or whatever you call it, is really invaluable. Because I can tell you, I mean, I teach part-time. I teach a class a semester up at the university. Um, and so I know the university pretty well and people in this field pretty well. But there's no place for me to go. There's, and I can tell you, in the legislature, there's no place that people know to go um, for, uh, for help, uh, to help solve a community problem um, or to figure out something that's proactive that they want to do. And so having, having a, a place, and I think universities do make a lot of sense, not that universities don't come with their own baggage, but compared to any of the other institutions, it's relatively neutral. Um, I mean, it's not like you know, some business-sponsored deal, which is going to be suspect in most places and with most people. And it's not like by ha having an advocacy group saying we're going to do something, or even a citizens group, unless it's something like the League of Women Voters. I think a university is really a natural uh, institution to serve as a forum for, uh, for folks to go. And, um, and we don't have anything like that in Utah uh, through the university. There are places. There are individuals in the universities. But there's no, no place. And I think if it was there and the legislative staff knew about it and it became part of the introduction to a legislator's role after the election, uh, when they're stepping into office and, you know, it's just like that scene out of the candidates, like, well, now what do I do? Because um, uh, elected officials really do feel that way. I mean, they've invested all this effort into a campaign, and, all, and they really are in a different role when they're either governing or, or playing the role all of a sudden of, of both making decisions but participating in them in some way. Um, and so if, uh, I think it's really, to me, it's just a real natural I mean, I'd love to see that develop more in Utah uh, than we have now. And, uh, and I really think that that's something that y you all can do better than any of us. Um, and what that means, obviously, is not only sort of pulling together the group of people and having some institutional name associated with it, but it also means starting to reach out to legislators, which you know, really shouldn't be a frightening proposition, even though we are uh, kind of spooky in what we do. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, in, in Utah, legislature, we're all part-time. Um, you know that we're not very smart. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I mean, we've got everything from school bus drivers to retired fire chiefs to, you know, it's just a, a range of people. And I think if people knew there was a resource available and they knew where they could go and you reached out to them, I mean, I'm always telling people when I'm meeting, it's like, call your, call your legislature. Not during the session. We don't, our lives are much too hectic during a session, but call them and say you just want to get together and meet and talk to them about something you're doing or something you think is important. And at least in our world, legislators will always find time for that. Um, now, I mean, the other thing, though, is to be very sensitive about elected officials' time. I mean, I'm kind of learning in this campaign a whole new realm of that, but even just as a, you know, as a representative for the last 10 or 11 years, um, you know, I've got to kind of operate in half-hour increments in my day. It's just the nature of it. Um, and, uh, and during the session, that even gets shorter. My attention span gets shorter and shorter. Coming out of session, I figure I have to always, let's say session, I have to always kind of both decompress but also start to learn how to think literally in longer time segments because you're making decisions so rapidly. Um, but in... Uh, um, if for uh, most elected officials' time, there are so many demands on their time that uh, they're it's always a juggling act. But legislators will find, they'll find the time. 
Uh, if you call them up and say, hey, I'm a constituent or I'm working on this and I just want to take a little bit of time, can we meet over breakfast or lunch or a drink or whatever it might be that's convenient, I'll come to your home, whatever works for you or your place of business, uh, they'll find the time, particularly if you're bringing to them something that may help them do their jobs and be successful. And there's no question that learning and living through uh, a consensus building process is, you know, it is success.